Welcome to another episode of Cooking, Cooking with Candy. Today I'm going to show you two recipes to do with frozen meatballs. You can't just do spaghetti all the time, so sometimes you got to mix it up. So the first recipe I'm going to do, I'm going to call it Meatball Gnocchi Stir Fry. So I started with some bacon in my pan and just started breaking that up where I could get to cooking before everything else. And then after I cooked down that bacon a little bit, I started adding in the rest of my veggies. I started with the onions first. You just want to toss those with your bacon and get them cooking up, get them coloring a little bit translucent for you before you start adding in the rest of your veggies because onions take the longest. And you're going to notice that I don't add in my asparagus until the very end it's because I had frozen asparagus and the frozen asparagus was already really softened up so I didn't have to cook it very long but if you have fresh ingredients for everything I would have put my asparagus in probably at the same time I did my Brussels sprouts but for right now we're just gonna leave them out do you see there I did a little squirt of garlic that was already all minced up for me because who has time to mince up garlic and then I added in my sweet peppers and mix those around as well and there goes those Brussels sprouts and the green beans these are green beans straight from my garden make sure you collect all those little bits that have fallen out onto your stove don't want to waste any green beans or any goodness and then I just put some onion powder over the top of them and some garlic powder I was almost out of my ground black pepper so it looks like I'm putting in a ton right here but I'm not I'm just trying to get the stuff to actually come out of the bottle so just put a little bit of pepper in there to taste as well and then put some Italian seasonings. Saute all of those vegetables together, get to know everybody in the pan, you know, get all melded together and get your flavors are percolating and we're just going to let that sit for just a few minutes. Once everything had started to soften up, I gave it another quick toss and then I added in my asparagus. These here are frozen meatballs and I just thawed them out in the microwave a little bit and then I cut them in half because they're just better bite sized pieces like that and added those into my stir fry and then I added in my mushrooms. I don't like when my mushrooms cook down a whole lot and get all slimy so that's why I wait until the very end to put them in. Stirred them around where they can get all incorporated and everything and then I added in my chicken stock. I did about two cups of chicken stock for this recipe. And that there was about half a cup of heavy cream just to get that sauce a little bit thicker. Stirred all that in before I added in my gnocchi and I didn't want the gnocchi to be like really overpowering in this dish so I only did about half a pack of this potato gnocchi. I made sure that all of my gnocchi were nice and tucked into all of that liquid to where they could start softening up and then I put my lid on and let this simmer for about 10 minutes. Once that gnocchi was softened up, I ladled it into my bowls and it was smelling so good at this point. I've done a couple of different variations of this and I am kind of found it's good with like any kind of vegetables that you put in there. Just try different combinations, do the vegetables that you like the most and whatever you think that sounds good in this recipe, just go ahead and try it. Remember, this is just a guideline for a dinner, just an idea to give you something a little bit outside of the box where you won't be just putting your meatballs in your spaghetti all the time because I don't know about y'all sometimes I get tired of just straight spaghetti and meatballs and this was a nice change and it also gave me another way to use gnocchi because I love gnocchi I don't know about y'all but I think it's pretty good but this gave me a different way to cook it and then I just added some mozzarella cheese on the top and I had cut up some fresh parsley from my garden and I put that on top as well and it was so good. This next one is a meatball pizza pocket. I didn't know what else to call this. It wasn't exactly a calzone so we're just gonna call it a pizza pocket. So I got one of those crescent roll dough sheets and I rolled out that dough sheet onto a pan that I had sprayed a little bit of Pam on and just stretched it out the best I could. This pan was almost the perfect size for this. 
and then I heated up some of those meatballs in the oven or not in the oven in the microwave to get them softened up and while they were heating up in the microwave I made little cuts in my dough where I could fold it over I guess you could have just folded it over a regular way without cutting it but I thought that this would make it a little bit prettier And spread a couple of spoonfuls of your pizza sauce over it. I didn't have any pizza sauce, so I used just spaghetti sauce, but it tasted just fine. Don't do a whole bunch or it'll be way too soggy. And just line it with your little meatballs all the way down. Cover it with some delicious mozzarella cheese. Make sure you get plenty of cheese in that thing because pizza is always better when it's really good and cheesy. And once I was satisfied with my cheese ratio, I started trying to weave my little cuts over and I was trying to make it like those fancy French breads, but I don't think I was doing it the right order. I don't know what order they do it in, but I don't think this was it. But it turned out just fine. It covered everything, so we're just going to call it good. It doesn't have to be perfect. Your family won't even notice. Once I was done, I sprinkled a little bit of garlic salt on top of this. I wish it would have gone with just plain garlic because it made it a little bit salty, and then I cooked it per the directions on the pack. And I should have cooked it for like five more minutes because it had just started to get golden brown and it was still just a little bit gummy on the bottom. But it turned out pretty good. I hope you enjoyed seeing these recipes and they were super easy to put together. And I will see y'all in the next one, guys, on cooking. Cooking with candy. Chapow! <laughs>